LPT request how do you turn things around and find joy when you're feeling down. Hello friends it says it right there in the title. When we feel down in the dumps. It could be very hard to pick ourselves up let alone be productive. Very curious about how you guys bounce back from feeling blue. Thanks in advance. Motion creates emotion. Exercise flushes out stress hormones like cortisol. Simply forcing yourself to go for a brisk walk can dramatically change body chemistry and your mood. I've found that exercise can create a very virtuous cycle. It can be hard to get started if you're feeling less than optimal in the first place. But you just have to set the ball rolling and it can become addictive. Just push through the initial resistance and a five-minute walk can end up lasting an hour. Walking without distractions like music can also really help you think things through and process stuff. One thing that helps me is to do something for someone else. For example, I have a senior citizen resident home near me and I visit them on my daily dog walk. Or I hang out with my 85-year-old widowed neighbor. It's a win-win because it takes me out of my head space and into theirs. Also, they have stories to tell. One step at a time. Find one thing that you're willing, able, capable can do and complete that one task. No matter how small it is. Don't get caught up in the should mentality as it just sets us up for failure. Also, hugging dogs, cats, people we love. If you don't have a dog, go to a nearby dog park and go visit some pups. Turn on music that makes you feel good or music that will help you hulk out. Pretend you are the best dancer in the world or at the best concert of your life. I cannot recommend some small noise cancelling earbud headphones enough. They really improved my mental health and connection with music. But blasting it for yourself works just as well. Getting straight out of bed when I wake up. Throwing on clothes. Getting a hot takeaway coffee or mocha. And walking around the lake admiring nature. Works every single time. Need a pep up op? Try this tomorrow or a morning yoga class. As someone who just dumped her loser alcoholic BF yesterday. Let me tell you my plans. I started with a relaxing bath. Some Netflix. A huge bag of crisps and attempted to get a good night's sleep. Today I'm going to visit my sister. We will be getting ice cream. Going for walks and having a good old catch up. Possibly a few drinks later responsibly. I'm making plans for the future so I have things to look forward to. Those plans include traveling on my own and doing what I damn well please. Start walking. Accomplish one thing at one time. Forget everyone who tells you about habits. When you're down you can't start a new, healthy habit. My mostly works strategy is to drastically reduce the number of things I need to do. If need down to one. Decide to do one simple thing. Then do it. Then congratulate yourself for doing it. More often than not. That starts an avalanche and before you know it you've done three things then five. And if it doesn't, at least you've got one thing less on your list of things to worry about. Get outside. Go for a walk. Be with nature and appreciate the small things in life. Birds chirping. The grass moving. People going about their lives. Don't look for joy. Look for something meaningful. Meaningful pursuits leads to long-term enjoyment. I find just telling myself I feel sad, anxious, whatever and it's okay makes me feel better. I guess just naming and accepting it. Also, reminding myself the feeling is temporary. I try to actively do something either productive or that I enjoy. Doing things improves my mood. Laying around has its time and place but doesn't improve my mindset. 
Doing something can be anything. Driving to the park for a nice walk. Running an errand. Making a card for a friend. Getting outside and cleaning up the yard. Having the house cleaner makes me happy. Or getting outside or just out of the house. Hope this helps. Watch listen to a comedian or comedy show. When we laugh, our body produces happy hormones. Not a instant fix. But sometimes I find it's been a while between laughs. Sometimes just turning on good music. Old. New. Different genres. Whatever. I always swear as long as I got music and books. I don't need much else. If I'm feeling low I remind myself of things to be thankful for. Going through some rough stuff has put my life in perspective and it would take some bad luck for things to be that awful again. When we were in the rough times I had to find sources of distraction for me that was drawing whilst listening to podcasts and walking the dog. If I'm low for a few weeks it usually means I've gotten sluggish and need to exercise. The concept of raising my baseline dopamine appeals to me rather than short-term hits. During moments when I'm down, I try to exercise gratitude. It is super tough during a rough patch, but gives a lot of strength if you manage to create a mindful habit out of it. Even in my darkest I think there has always been at least one or two things people I have been extremely grateful for and remembering that helped me put things into perspective and have the patience I needed remember this too shall pass. This also motivates me to do better and be better. I monotony of it means I have contemplative time to get my head back into perspective. I always say if I want to change something, that thought action thing needs to be in my mind constantly. To remind me I'm making a change. Having a positive attitude was hard. Took years. But I'm there now thumbs up. Good luck. Walking my dogs in the forest going for a swim in the lake. Anything involving moving and getting out of the house. And well medication. For me it's almost always slowing down and noticing what I'm paying attention to. Then reminding myself what I care about usually those feelings are based on a fear I'm not good enough. And I remind myself that that whole idea isn't something I care about. That what really matters is my goodwill and I can't control other things and shouldn't forget that. Go accomplish something small that feels valuable to you. Like if you're sad about something ignore it and give yourself something to be proud of. For me, there's a lot of shame when I feel down and am not productive. And I have to remind myself that I am a human being I have feelings. I can process these feelings. And that's okay. And I give myself a small break. And I tell myself that being productive doesn't always have to be what society thinks it needs to be. It usually helps when I'm kinder to myself. The one thing that never ceases to calm my nerves and take my mind away is going to the batting cages and hitting baseballs for hours. Yeah, I'm that out of place 40-year-old guy ripping the skin off of baseballs with all the 12-year-olds. There's just something about doing that that alters my mental state in a good way. The feel and sound of blasting one just right releases the perfect amount of dopamine. Alcohol petting zoo. Works every time. Make a todo list work the list you just did what you can control. Now it's out of your hands. Gotta get that sense of accomplishment and control. Starting with small goals. E.g. okay. So tomorrow. We're going to get up. And put on some music. We're going to call a friend and watch a movie. Sometimes when I'm really struggling, those small things are enough to exhaust me so I'll plan for a nap and then plan for activities. Afterwards too. Good luck. Op. Baby steps.